Hello, my name is Spencer, and this is about a four-month update for Thronefall. It's an early access. Uh, let's not waste a whole lot of time here and just jump right into what has changed, what's good, what's bad, and what needs further adjustments. The Lightning Staff is a weapon that was added to the game a while ago. In my opinion, it is weak and not very useful. How it works is the further away enemies are from each other, the more of them you can hit. The problem is that enemies bunch together all the time. They swarm around you, friendly units, buildings, and each other. I think they should change the staff, remove the proximity requirement for enemies to be further away to hit more of them. Instead, the staff should hit all enemies that are close enough to each other but with each successive enemy the lightning chains to after the first enemy it hits, the damage diminishes. The base damage for this weapon should be increased by a lot. It does a pitiful amount of damage right now. The active ability is very strong. It does a massive amount of AoE damage, but it's in a pretty small area. This is useful if you have many enemies swarming around a gate or a tower or something like that. The active ability is the reason you take this weapon. At all other times, this staff is underpowered and not useful. And just to pile on a little bit more when I'm talking about this weapon, when it shoots, it doesn't look or sound like electricity. It, it looks and sounds like you're pushing a gust of wind towards enemies. I, I think this one needs some work. Let's move on to some other things here. Units. If you stand next to a unit building and hold down the command ability, that will select all of the units from that building and make them come to you no matter where you are on the map. And that's really nice because if you have a large group of them and, and you can't quite select all of them with the normal command ability, this will help you select everyone and you can move people around where you need them to be. In addition, units, when you're commanding them during the day, will instantly teleport to where you place them. So you no longer need to wait for slow units to move all the way over to where you want them to be. They'll just teleport there immediately. That's only during the day. That's not during the night. Uh, if it was during the night, that would be way too powerful, but it is nice to be able to quickly move units around during the day so you can get the next wave of enemies started. There is a new map called Uferwind, I think I'm saying that right, and hero units which have been added to this map only. I have two hero units unlocked so far, the Golem and the Wizard. I wasn't recording at the time for either one of these, I apologize for that. The Golem is, is a nice tank unit. It did die a few times when it got swarmed, so you really need to support this unit with other melee units because it will die on its own. The other one, the Wizard, I didn't use that much. It's a healer. It seems to do a good job keeping units alive, although it is very fragile. I think the AI behavior needs a little work. There were a number of cases when the wizard should have moved on its own to heal units, I think. Friendly units were in sight and the wizard stood where it was, making no attempt to heal. It seems like you have to kind of shepherd this one around to make sure that it stays in range and will keep healing units. I've got a few other miscellaneous things to add here and then we can kind of wrap up. The game is saved after each night, so you can quit and return to a run later. If you fail, you can retry for the morning before, or if you fail, you can start a new game with a new loadout without having to go to the main menu. Those are all nice things to have. The other thing is I would like to see either on the HUD or in the pause menu, I would like to see a display of how much gold you are going to earn after the next night. It shows you how much total that you have, 
but in in the lower right hand corner but i don't actually know how much i'm going to earn the next day and one other thing that they added they added rebindable keys should have been there to begin with they added this pretty early though so they they got on top of that relatively quickly um, so that's of course nice to have should be standard in every game rebindable keys should be standard every game a few final things now it does feel like there is a particular way to beat later levels. Frosty, which is the one you're looking at right now, is the, the snow theme level. You had better have walls and towers to stop the dozens of enemies that show up in the later waves and during the final boss fight where the boss is spewing out all of these units at you. I can't imagine attempting to beat this level with only units and like no walls no towers if you don't have walls those enemies will blow through all of your buildings and take you down really fast on the Uferwind map you need range you need towers you need range units because when the witches show up among other units they fly and they do a lot of damage i think they need a damage debuff personally and they will blow through every building that you have. And that is fine. It just means you have to learn the level and figure out what you need. Otherwise, you're going to lose. In a later update, the developers did say they're going to add a trials mode, which what that will do is that will randomize the enemy waves that show up. You can no longer count on what the next wave is going to be. That should add some variety while you're playing, so that's going to be nice to have. Overall, I think that things are going well. It's nice to see some of the additions that they've added. There's, of course, more to do. Um, there's good, there's been not so good, but I like what I'm seeing so far. It will still be in early access for a while. I think they said six to 12 months, closer to 12 months, so it, it'll be a little while. But I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to what else they have in store, what else they're going to add. Make sure you subscribe for more updates on this game and other games that I cover. And thank you for watching.